all these requisitions have been filed as public interest litigation, wherein the common prayer is to direct the respondent, state police authorities, to immediately hand over all documents and evidences pertaining to the criminal proceedings initiated by them to the Central Bureau of Investigation or any other independent investigating agency. Thereafter, uh, we have set out the other prayers in the other requisitions. Uh -huh. The matter concerns a shocking incident which took place on August 9, 2024 at RG Kaur Medical College and Hospital, wherein a postgraduate trainee doctor who was on duty was found dead inside the hospital premises, allegedly in half-naked condition. Then uh, the petitioner alleged that there were injuries over the body of the victim, including the private parts, and the family members and other persons firmly believe that the death occurred due to rape and murder and was committed by several offenders. The writ petitioners would also state that the Honorable Chief Minister of State of West Bengal on August 10, 2024, had issued a statement stating that the State of West Bengal has no objection if the investigation of the alleged incident is transferred to CBI. Leave was granted to the writ petitioners on August 12, 2024 to file the writ petitions and today we have also granted leave to the parents of the victim to file a writ petition. In the said writ petition, the parents have sought for a direction to conduct in independent investigation by a team of independent impartial officers under the supervision of a honorable judge of this court to direct a team of independent investigative officers to take custody of all evidence including but not limited to the post-mortem report, forensic evidence, CCTV footage, electronic communications, written statements to ensure that no evidence is tampered with and suppressed or destroyed. They also sought for etc. that is other prayer. Um, in the, in the batch of cases, we consider it appropriate to treat the reputation filed by the parents of the victims as the lead case. To consider as to whether the case has to be transferred to an independent agent, central agency, we are guided by various decisions of the Honorable Supreme Court. At this juncture, we uh, note the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of K.V. Rajendran versus Superintendent of Police, 2013, 12 SEC page 480, wherein the Honorable Supreme Court held that the power of transferring such investigations must be in rare and exceptional cases where the court finds it necessary in order to do justice between the parties and to instill confidence in the public mind, or where investigation by the state police lack credibility and it is necessary for having a fair, honest, and complete investigation, and particularly when it is imperative to retain public confidence in the impartial working of the state agencies. We are to test the case on hand on the anvil of the above legal principle. The learned senior standing counsel appearing for uh, the state of West Bengal would contend that the investigation has been done in an appropriate manner and prays for reasonable time to submit a detailed report of investigation done thus far, which can be placed before this court in a sealed cover. It is submitted that statements have been recorded from more than 25% and one person has been arrested and the investigation is proceeding in the proper direction. We have read the averments made by the parents of the victim in direct petition and that incident etc. was there. Then we have added whatever as the uh, senior, senior uh, government leader has said about the various timing. It is rather disheartening to note that the hospital administration, more particularly then principal of, um, Professor Sandeep Kumar Ghosh, who has been implied in his personal capacity in WP number 331 of 2024, was not proactive. Then we have set out his role. Hmm? It is on record that Professor Sandeep Kumar Ghosh tendered his resignation and it is not clear as to what orders were passed on such request for resignation. Rather, within the shortest possible time, on August 12, 2024, the said person has been made a principal of National Medical College and Hospital, Kolkata. It is difficult to comprehend that as to why even a person submits his resignation, the concerned authority of the state did not exercise the two options which are available, namely, either to accept the resignation or to refuse to accept the resignation. The appropriate authority of the state government should bear in mind the circumstances which led to the res resignation. 
Therefore, even assuming the resignation was not accepted, the least that can be expected from a responsible higher official of the concerned department to is to immediately relieve the principal from his duties and not assign him any other duty of equal responsibility. If this court had not, if this course had not been adopted, I am if he has been assigned another responsibility equal to the equivalent to the responsibility held by him, it would tantamount to putting a premium. This is what has exactly happened in the instead case, wherein Professor So and So has been made as the principal of another government medical college hospital. It is not clear as to why there was the tearing urgency in doing so. Several submissions were made at the bar with regard to as to how influential is Professor So and So. However, these aspects are not gone into at this stage. We have advised the learned advocate appearing for the Professor So and So to direct his client to immediately proceed on leave, failing which the court would be compelled to pass necessary orders. On oral instructions, the learned advocate submitted that his client will immediately proceed on leave. leave. If such an application is submitted by Professor So and So, the same shall be accepted and he shall be granted extraordinary leave and not permitted to hold the post of principal of the National Medical College and Hospital Calcutta until further directions. The parents of the victim apprehend that if the state police is permitted to continue the investigation, in all probabilities the investigation will be derailed and the culprits will not be brought to books and therefore they pray that the case on hand is unlike other cases and involves extraordinary urgency for this court to intervene so that the investigation is transferred to an independent agency. We had directed the learned senior standing counsel for the state to produce the case diary and the matters were passed over. The case diary was produced and we have produced the same. One more aspect which is also quite disturbing is that the case of unnatural death has been registered with the Tala police station in case number so and so. It is submitted that, hmm, that under normal circumstances a case of unnatural death is registered when there is no complaint. Uh, when the disease was a victim, uh, when the deceased victim was a doctor working in the hospital, it is rather surprising as to why the principal or the hospital administration did not lodge a formal complaint. This, in our view, was a serious lapse, giving room for suspicion. On and after August 9, 2024, prime facie, there has been no significant pro progress. As till date, the police have not arrested any other person who may be allegedly involved in the commission of the offence. The place of where the crime has been committed assumes extraordinary importance. Namely, it is in a government hospital. The victim was a doctor working in the same hospital. Considering these factors, we would be well justified in making an observation that the administration was not with the victim or with the family of the victim. We have asked the learned senior standing counsel as to whether statement has been recorded from the principal, superintendent, assistant superintendent. The reply was that till date, no statement has been recorded. Uh, today, already mm, uh, recorded. Till, uh, the reply was till we heard the matter. Yes, till yes. the matter was before the court. Ah. Sir, now after third. Court of the observation should be given. Observation to should be given. As pointed out earlier, though the principal resigned, he has been within a couple of hours transferred and posted to another medical college or hospital under the control of the state government. Under normal circumstances, the court could have directed a report to be filed and considered the report and also might have granted leave to file exception to report, etc. However, the case on hand is a peculiar case and the facts and circumstances warrant appropriate orders without further loss of time. We are convinced to say so because even after the lapse of five days, there appears to be no significant progress in the investigation, which ought to have happened by now, and by further loss of time, we would be well justified in accepting the plea of the writ petitioners, now particularly the parents of the victim, that there is every possibility that the evidence will be destroyed and the witnesses will be influenced, etc. Therefore, we deem it appropriate to transfer the investigation to the Central Board of Bureau of Investigation. As pointed out by the Honorable Supreme Court, one of the circumstances which the court should take in while transferring the investigation from the state investigating agency to any other in independent uh, investigating agency is to do justice between the parties and to instill confidence in the public mind. Apart from that, when it is necessary for having a fair, honest and complete investigation, and particularly when it is imperative to retain public confidence in the impartial working of the state agency. The circumstances which have set out above clearly show that the public have agitated on the very same day, that too in large numbers, and it is admitted that the state, by the state 
that rapid action force had to be brought in. The doctors slash students in their memorandum had stated that the rapid action force had assaulted several innocent people and they demand action to be taken against the force. Therefore, it became imperative and necessary for this court to exercise its jurisdiction, failing which the confidence in the public mind would be shattered and the public confidence will be also jeopardized. As at this juncture, we take judicial notice of the fact that the agitation which initially commenced in the RG Medical College and Hospital has spread over to the other institutions in the state of West Bengal. Apart from that, agitations have spread out to other states in the country, which have been widely reported in the newspapers. These are, these, are, these are all relevant factors which have to be borne in mind. For the, for the above reasons, the learned government pleader uh, is directed to hand over the case diary to the officer of CBI who will be present in court uh, and an acknowledgement shall be given by the said officer to the officer of state police forthwith. The other records, CCTV footages, statements, if any, and all materials and matters concerning the case shall be handed over to CBI by 10 a.m. tomorrow. The CCTV footages which are stated to have been preserved shall also be handed over as such. Apart from that, any other information which is relevant to the case as may be called for by CBI shall be provided by the state police or the special investigation team. With regard to the other prayers which have been sought for in the red petition, we direct the concerned authority of the state government to file its report. The superintendent of the hospital shall also file a report as regards the infrastructure and other facilities which are available in the hospital. The doctors, medical students who have found themselves as a joint forum are also permitted to file their suggestion. After the reports and suggestions are put on record, the court will examine as to what appropriate directions have to be issued. List the matter after three weeks. Well, one direction is to uh, the safety and security uh, of the victims. Uh, family. But let it be a court monitor. Murad, uh, we, al uh, we also want it to be a court monitor. No. <laughs> matter is pending. It will come up after three weeks. Murad, calls for a report. When it comes, we'll do it. Hmm. It has to be done right and now. Thank you.